Greetings everyone, my name is Flair Bliss here, and we've returned back to Natali at the Bubble Planet. Definitely a very cutesy looking game, with a lot of uh, companionship involved. Hello there! Examined. Ah, hi there, are you the examinee? This way, please. So, welcome to the exam. Hopefully everyone has been well, everything has been well prepared. It's time to change yourself. Now take a deep breath and do your best. Service bubble has two forms. Which one would you like to choose? I would like to take the flight service bubbler. Are you sure you want to choose the flight service bubbler? Yes, I do. Okay, you will undertake the exam of flight s service bubbler. Let me explain the rules to you. There will be some name of the... Dishes, please read carefully and answer the following question. This exam contains five questions. Please answer all the questions to complete the exam. Which of the following settlements is incorrect? Um, uh, none of these are any good. I mean, doing a Google search on all of these and they all come up with Hindus can or can't eat beef. Mormons are not allowed to drink alcohol, tea or coffee. Muslims can't eat pork and anything made from pork. Definitely know that's a fact. Jews do not eat fish that is without scales. Ah, okay. I thought that was the case. Which of the following is not suitable to serve for Muslim? Pork with... Rice? Yep. Correct. Which of the following is not suitable to serve for Hindu? We'll go for the steak, okay? The answer is correct. Can't believe really I have to Google some of these. Which religion can I eat pork? Um, Muslims. Yep. These are religious-based questions, I feel comfortable. Which of the following is not suitable to serve for Mormon? Mormon, I believe, was the fish one. Spicy curry, you can serve any kind of curry. It doesn't have to have meat in it, or noodles. Doesn't have to have meat. Milk tea, definitely doesn't have... Wait, Mormons is tea, isn't it? Oh, shut up! Okay, I've got four out of five grades. Okay, you are qualified as a flight service bubbler with a certificate. Hope you can be a great bubbler in the future. As we age, our contours get tainted with colours, but we can only determine, we can determine who we are going to become. Nah, a piece of a future with the indigo colour. And that's the game itself, but let's see what happens if we choose the other colours in the game itself. It's a pretty cute short game, although I'd say that uh, the translation needs a bit of a rethink over. Well, not rethink, but just tweaking in itself. And um, yeah, I, I think the theme of it is quite unique, in, in fact. You know, choosing your companion based off of a very, um, very unlikely thing. Use your companions and like um, imps. If you're, um, I forgot what they're called now. But they're a particular person who can summon demons or imps to their side. Um, they're not called demon summoners. They have a particular name to it. Thank you for your playing. Thank you for playing. Yep. Okay. Ah, star galleries. A space appears in front of you. Your footprints are collected here. Just enter and have a look what else needs to be filled in. Hmm. So that's about... Uh, I don't know anymore now. In the name of love. So there were the other areas in the game which we've not yet explored. Like when we have the three days and stuff. That's probably something to do with it, but also due to the fact of items, because I think there's one item I couldn't give. Um, nothing here. Leave here, yes. Ah, this just... Ah, Star Gallery Endings. Star Gallery Endings. Eight Endings? 
Oh, maybe... Oh, I see. So if we take the gambling one, then we'll have questions about gambling. Okay. Two different type of exams, I would see. I see, I see, I see, I see, boy. There's a door, but it seems locked, and there is no keyhole. Maybe if you witness all the endings first before getting in there. Yes, the point. Uh, characters? Uh, these are just like character specific rather than events specific. Yeah, Star Gallery characters. And then, yeah, these are the ones I explored in my first playthrough. I did like the idea of something that you have after the game is complete so you can explore what you've already done. Okay, items. Okay, so there's definitely a few items which I've missed out on. God damn, there's a lot of things which I've missed out when it comes to items, but different items go to different people, probably. But there's a lot. There's a lot to try and get on board. Leave here, yes. I would like to take the gambling bubbler this time. Are you sure you want to choose the gambling bubbler? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, you will undertake the exam of the gambling bubbler. Let me explain the rules to you. I think we already knew this. Uh, following gambling scenarios, it, it contains five questions. Ah, where is, your, where is the origin of the big two? Bloody heck, okay. <laughs> it's time for another Google search. Apparently it's in China. Yeah, the answer is correct. Which of the hand rankings of Texas Hold'em is incorrect? Well, it would stand to believe that if... Um, if you have three of a kind and it's considered a two pair, then that's the betting game is four house, four of a kind, four of a kind, straight, straight flush, four house. See, all of these are within the game, that's the problem. But four of a kind is better than a full house. Yeah, okay. <sighs> I was getting worried there for a while, thinking these are all included, but it's the order. Hmm. Which of the formal card ranking of Big Two is incorrect? I think there's more of a, the name of the game. So Big Two stands for that two is the biggest card. So therefore, the Ace of Spade would be smaller than the Two of Diamond. Yes, the answer is correct. Which of the following ways can't beat the dealer at Blackjack? Well, um, I believe it would be the first one because it always stands to believe that if you can get just two cards which get to 21 without a dealer, yeah, it, do it doesn't help when all the text is not on the screen. Um, reach the final score higher? No, you can't because that would be bust. Gain anything over 21 is a bust. Let the dealer draw additional cards into the hand exceeds 21. No, because that then they'll be busted. Reach a final score higher than the dealer? Well, no, I think it's the first one. How the heck is the answer D? That makes no sense. Which is the most widely played casino banking game in the world? This is more of an opinion base. Well, why? That's an opinion based question! Congratulations, you are. Okay. I shouldn't be so extravagant about that. But those two last questions were a complete BS. Here's your certificate. Unless there's a statistic based evidence that you can back up with that, but Blackjack is very well widely known. Hope you can be a great bubble in the future. Uh... Hello! A piece of the future? Most certainly. Yes. Maybe I've just been looking at the wrong colour. I thought that pink one was indigo, but it was something else entirely. Bond of it. 
Yay, we got ourselves the food one. Food bubble. Not had this before, the cave. Literally a cave. Oh, these are so many bubbles. The bubbles that was forgotten by God are called forgotten bubbles. How long have they been living in this dark cave? I'm not sure, but is there... Is there anything unique in here? Notice that the name has gone back to um, the original language. Oh, you're so small, not only useless, but also weak. Just like me. Bond with it? Uh, do you want to bond with me? No, oh, we've got it. We've made ourselves a friend. Ah, uh, Natari's destiny to bond with another one. Is that okay? I've bonded with a bubble which is even unknown. I'm just an idiot. I'm not. Uh, tomorrow is trying to do exercises. Yeah, that was strange. But also it's good. Because we've discovered something right there. I would like to choose the baking bubbler first, and then the cooking bubbler. Are you sure you want to choose the baking bubbler? Yes, I do. You will undertake the exam of baking bubbler. Let me explain the rules to you. There will be information about your usual different types of dessert names. Please read carefully. Exam continues five questions. Which of the dessert names is from the meaning of Thousand Leaves in French? The first one is Italian. The second one is an oil of some sort. Nagasaki is Japanese. And the only one that seems to come up in French is Boston Cream Pie. We're moving on then. Obviously, the internet is stupid. Which one of which, which one is the search for Mid Autumn Festival? Okay. Obviously, I know nothing about food. Mooncake. Thank you. After the other BS question, this one's okay. Which of the dessert names is not related to the origin place? Boston cream pie. Boston is in America. <laughs> Bloody hell, game. Get your facts right. Which is that as a small figurine hidden inside in a person? Uh, I need to do this one again, actually. Which is that a small figurine hidden inside in a person who gets a piece of cake with a drink has various privileges and obligations? If this is bloody Boston cream pie again, it's like... It's like the curse of this questionnaire. Yep. B. Doing this again. Which one? Desserts for Mooncake. And for some odd reason, the answer is not that. How the hell is it A? Swiss roll. I believe a Swiss roll would be more likely to come from Switzerland than Boston cream pie is from America. It says on the internet that Boston cream pie comes from France. Um, okay, place of origin, Central Europe. That's where Switzerland is, for goodness sakes. <laughs> so I'm getting annoyed by questionnaire. Central Europe, likely Austria, maybe even Switzerland for that matter. Uh, Boston cream pie, and guess what, what it comes up with? It says France. Check your facts before selecting which one is the correct answer. Uh, correct. And now this one, which probably doesn't make any sense either. Um, it wouldn't... It, it, Probably be more Asian origins just because of various privileges and obligations. 
can't believe I'm having to Google most of these questions just simply because people will probably think that these questions are just really, really generic. But then they're just not okay. They're very specific. Origins this, origins that. I don't know. Thank you. Uh, which of the dessert names is from the meaning of burnt cream in French? Oh my goodness sakes, another one which probably does not... Oh, uh, this is the only one that has not come up. Thank you. Thank goodness. I was about to get... Yeah. You are qualified, qualified as a baking bubbler. Here's your certificate. Hope you can be a great bubbler in the future. I'll try. <sighs> Nothing I don't like about this game in particular is the tech speed. It's just so slow. A piece of the future! Now it is time to take the other one. The other wonderful one. Not baking, but cooking this time around. So now we go in the opposite end of the spectrum. Not desserts, but main course. Unless if you're some people and you prefer to have desserts first and then dinner afterwards. That's, that's how some parts of the world work, I believe. You say this way, please. We don't even move a step. I'm not criticizing again. I'm just saying that we're not even moving anywhere. This way, please. We're still in the same spot. Undertake a cooking bubble. Choose the most suitable answer for the following restaurant scenarios. Oh, restaurant scenarios. Okay. Did we? Did we all? Did we do this in the last time? Yeah, this is one we've already done, haven't we? Yeah, I remember these questions. Papa ordered a drink wine in the restaurant. Hmm. You wouldn't... I don't know. Okay, should not drink before me. Yeah, you usually drink champagne during a meal. Yep, there we go. Which of the menus follows the formal meal serving order? Okay, so this is a different one. I thought, or well, maybe it was in a test. I don't know. Uh, I need to get this one right. I have no bloody idea. Not a single clue. You should have... Oh, it would have to be B. Because cheesecake is a dessert. And salad is usually a light meal anyways. Thank you. Thank goodness! I think you have to get 60% of them correct or something. So that wasn't uh, the same. I was just thinking back to when it was like... Um, thinking back of the tests that you did to try out beforehand. A piece of the future. Indeed, a piece of the future. But we haven't discovered any more item stuff, which is quite annoying. Because... There's not enough items in the game to fill out all those boxes. Unless you have to mix and match with the items so that an item fits with multiple amounts of people. But also as well, hold on. We got um, a space... Okay. We got me... Please go faster. We got the secret bubble, I believe. The unknown bubble. 
would I actually have to go in uh, this one all the way over here? Door, but it seems locked and there's no keyhole. Item. Yeah, there's no key item. So the secret bubble that doesn't the bu secret bubble doesn't have to do anything with that. But what does that secret bubble do then? We'll take the blue one this time. Love the color blue. It's such a calming color. You have bonded with a care bubble. Very caring. Hmm. Not been here before because I selected mountain and it went here instead. Wild light berries have fruited. Yeah, there's something here. A comb. Nicely done. And you are Arvig. Are you Arvig? Um, are you Arvig? Give back the lost item. Do you use a comb by any chance? Did you drop this? This is not mine. Yes, long time no see. Well, though we never really met before. Congratulations on your new album. You still remember me? I am so happy. Your sons are the best, just like the sunshine of spring, warm and comfortable. Thank you. I'll keep working on it. Nah. Endless sunshine. I really like your song. Really? I'm so happy to hear that. I was so happy when I heard here the news that you're coming back. Thank you so much. I didn't think there would be someone waiting for me before. Why does he look sad? Um, do you have a notebook? This is not mine. Um, what about this fountain pen? This is not mine. Well, it seems like none of the items here. Uh, not mine. Okay. This guy's divided into two colors by two bubblers' borders. Ah, hi, cute little girl. How are you? What a wonderful day. Uh, introduce yourself to Grandpa Kuta. What's your name, little girl? I'm Natari. Natari is such a good name. It means hope in an ancient language. Really? That's right. Cherish it. So my name means hope. <laughs> Aww, be hidden hope. What a wonderful day. Talk to Grandpa Kuta. Bubbles seem to like Grandpa Kuta so much. What's wrong? Disliked by any bubbles? They hate me. Bubble allergy. Ho ho ho, little girl. That is not hate. Then why? If they don't hate me? Suitable or not, it's not decided by emotional feelings. Really? Yeah, allergy is just something that you're allergic to. Is this your comb? Isn't this my comb? Thank you, little girl. It's great that I found the owner. Why you look so sad, little girl? I want to become an element bubbler, but I can't. No matter what I do, I'll always think about the failure. What if my bubble die? What is my whole life? Hold on a second, kid. Let me ask you, Natari. Do you think it's important? Is it that bad to be normal? Even though they are not bubblers, lots of us still work hard and give what they can. Why do you be afraid of others and consider you can't do it? Why are you so why are you depressed over such thing? Others vision. It is a wonderful day. Natari also comes to the show? Yeah, I'm so happy to meet Arvig. So do I. I feel like that I haven't heard of his son for a long time. <coughs> Excuse me. I love his son a lot, heartwarming and sometimes a bit sad. Yeah, I like it too. My favourite song by Arvig is called No Need to Recall. Nah. If I no longer care, nah, don't say that. Just just give back the lost item. Uh, we've already been through this process. 
chased it away because your mother despises bubbles and is a wretched person who who doesn't like bubbles and how can somebody not like bubbles just like how could somebody not like cats and dogs for goodness sakes because they are so adorable and are too precious for people there's an item there uh something here oh a vinyl record hey is this yours by any chance you seem like the kind of guy that would take a vinyl record did you drop this my vinyl record thank you the third song is my favorite me too delivery at the door dogs are such good door alarms <laughs> i felt so lonely after you stopped singing so i'm really grateful that you are coming back what's wrong let me tell you a little secret i don't know why but for a while i really tried to avoid singing didn't want to see because it was stressful so I ran away ran away well there's no more pressure but it wasn't just for pressure that we had to so it went away also that dream I once cherished after a long while when I picked up my microphone again I realized that I was running away from myself but it's a bit rusty now I still want to sing sing for myself again and that is when I realized no matter how long you abandon it, your dream will not lose its light. Even if it's a little bit broken, it will still shine like a diamond after a good polish. Nah, delay dream. I didn't mean to select this, I wanted to see what the other options were. Please, I've already been there. I've already seen the end of sunshine. Look around. Look around, man. I need to recall. Anything else here? A bit molded. After all, it's been built for a long time. If you could save that, I would probably get lost there. Just not go any further. Are you sure? Leave the place. There's a nice day. I think I've raised the compatib compatibility. However, you want to call it compatibility. Ah, I selected the prairie and now we're at the ranch. The grass is lush. The animals should be very happy. Uh, there's something here. A bell, a delicate glass bell. It sounds like birds singing when it rings. Hi there again. More, a morning with birds singing is the best time to go for a walk. Sometimes, even though there is no fence or collar, we are easily trapped. Ask Grandpa some questions. You are Grandpa Kuta, right? You know me, little girl? Grandpa Kuta is very popular and awesome. How so? A lot of bubbles like you, and you know the ultimate spells. Little girl, hmm? Do you think bubbles like me because I am awesome? Or am I awesome because bubbles like me? Uh, yep. It's the same wording, but different, a different way around, so therefore it has a different meaning. Talk to Grandpa. Grandpa Kuta likes bubbles. I really like them. Has Grandpa Kuta attended any bubble exams? Uh, actually, I haven't even bonded with any bubbles. What? Maybe that's because I like them. If I were you, I would like to bond with bubbles I like. That is good too. But I don't want to own them. Own them? <laughs> Love without owning. And who are you? Cool. Would you like to try and take the sheep for, take the sheep for a walk? When the autumn comes, there will be lots of butterflies around. What a cute cane. Thanks, because I am short, it will make me stand out a bit more. The sheep are so cute, and always so gentle. They are actually a bit more grumpier than you think. I think maybe they like you. Really? I'm so happy. Animals like people with open heart. <laughs> the person with open heart. 
I wish I could get all of these rubber words on them, just because, well, there's a huge selection of material to use for a thumbnail, for goodness sakes. Is it fun to be a shepherd? I really enjoy it. It's certainly relaxing. Your bubbles look really relaxed too. They are always like this. Do nothing yet sleep a lot. Seems like they are very close of you. Because they are my partners. Do you want this lost item of a bell? Bird singing when it rains. This item, does it belong to you? Oh, did I lose it? It's a pretty bell, but why can't it ring now? It's a custom of Tayachan. Taya clan. Custom? When we meet the Kayako of our life, we will receive a bell. Kayako? It means the soul of destiny, which you call the bubble. How romantic. The bell represents our heart. A soul that is strong and firm makes the bell to perform beautiful music, using the power of bubbles to ring the bell. With this skill, you can get a high score during a bubble exam. I have never attended any bubble exams, so I don't know. Really? I don't like to become, to be, well, be judged by other people. I think the bell should only be run by myself, and so do others. <laughs> if you say so, friend, just look around. Doesn't look like any other items. Mm, the grass is lush, the animals should be very happy. It is a... Uh, how big is this ranch? I can't see the edge of it. Hmm. Very big ranch. Clouds look so cheerful. Cheerful clouds! You can't go there. Hmm. Today's a nice day. I think I've raised my compatibility. Those are all the areas I've been to. And, yeah, I forgot to give these, but I've already discovered what these ones were. There's a third item in the beginning which I never got. Care Bubbler, please. Yes. Underst undertake the exam of the Care Bubbler, explain the rules, choose the most suitable answer for the following hospital scenarios. Five questions, answer open to complete the exam. Not related to... Please don't hate me for not being able to pronounce these bloody things. They're so long text and also as well... These are not words you come across every day. For goodness sakes. There are some really triggered people out there who just can't get a grip there. Some people can't pronounce certain names. Hmm, maybe this one. Yep. Because three of them are bodily related, one of them is emotional related. Not related to Al Alzheimer's, Alzheimer's, Alzheimer's disease. Sounds silly, but... Of course. Hmm. Yeah, because everybody has exactly the same disease if you're in a family. Not related to the brain. Diabetes. Thank you. I have a brother has diabetes. What's the following statement about breast cancer is not true? Uh, drinking alcohol is a risk family. Uh, family risk. Um, well, it's like you have to go through the entire analogy of what breast cancer is before being able to find out which one of these is not a case. So I've got got two or three right so far. Hmm. That just seems like too of a, much of an obvious answer. Breast cancers. Breast cancer will not occur in men. Uh, more than 80% of cases are discovered by phenal alarm. What do you mean men do suffer from breast cancer, you know? 
It says on the internet again, symptoms of breast cancer in men are similar to those in women. Oh, uh, which of the following ways is possible to spread HIV? Well, this is really descriptive. Well, not really descriptive, but... Um... Hugging, kissing... It should be an obvious answer, but... Um, I'm just going to see it real quick. Uh, bodily fluids. Blood, semen, fluids, fluids. Um, breast... Okay. Thanks, Internet. I think you just confirmed my answer. Thank you. I think that's three or five. Congratulations, you are qualified as a care bubbler. Uh, should say it has some sort of text-based description. That's a bit... Uh, and I am Z Care Bubbler, a piece of a future. I swear we got there again, a piece of a future. Like many times. It's just with CG was different. Uh, 14 different outcomes, I would say. Two for each colour, and there are seven colours in total. Two times seven. Pharmacy bubbler. Yes, undertake the exam of pharmacy bubbler. Information related to pharmacy. Please read carefully and answer the following questions. Exam contains five questions. Yep. Following statements about antibiotics is true. Would it make people mad? Um, oh gosh, I have no idea. May prevent pregnancy, may could kill virus. It could be A or C. Or is that. Following drugs is not for Parkinsonism. Well, they all say that they can be used to counteract Parkinson's. So what the heck is the answer supposed to be? Okay, that was a correct guess then. Uh, Medigan used to treat... Yeah, that's the biggest stupid statement. Uh, it's not true, not causing any side effects. Yep. All medication has a possibility of side effects. Which of the following drugs can, be, can cure fever? Seems like such simple questions, but they're actually not for certain people in the world. Or for some of you on the internet, there's only me who is the dumb one who can't understand these questions. I do, but I just need to find out the answer. Thank you very much. God damn game! So no, it's not that, not a recreational drug. Doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. We've got most of them correct. Certificate. Just seeing what all the endings are. That's all we're doing. But it just takes a bit of time just to get to them. Hey, look at that. A piece of the future again. We should have different ending names, really. Rather than just a piece of the future. Unless we need to put all these pieces together to make the future. 14 different fates. One single conclusion. Probably. May never know. Never know these things, really. Thank you for playing. Thank you for some of these incorrect answers. Going green this time. Very green. Very, very environmentally green. Science bubble love for science of modern day. Science bubble has two forms of physics bubbler, please. Yes, I do think it very much. Physics is bubbler. Explain the rules. We know the rules. Five questions. In what range of temperature does water disobey the rule of thermal expansion and contraction? What the bloody hell are you talking about? Contradiction, I mean, sorry. 
I have no... No. It's just a stupid thing that doesn't have any answers at all. Uh, 37 degrees Celsius is... Um, degree to Fahrenheit. Um, 37 is 98.6. Absolute zero is the lowest temperature according to the firm. What is the absolute zero value in Celsius? 273. Yeah. Absolute zero is when particles don't move anymore. Normally particles vibrate because of temperature. But absolute zero means that the particle itself is just absolutely still. No movement. How to attach the fuse wires in order to protect the circuit? Um, I hate multiple questions sometimes. I really do. Hmm, in series, in parallel, fuse wires, but then, why would you, uh, A, of course, difference of water boiling point from sea level to high mountains, well, difference of water boiling point from sea level to high mountains, will remain the same because of temperature. But then again, as you climb altitude, it gets cooler. We've got three correct, so it doesn't matter if we get one thing or another thing. Mm, yes, because that's how science works. If you climb altitude, obviously the air temperature gets cooler. But how does that relate towards if water can freeze or thaw or however you want to call it. How does it relate to that? It doesn't. Because wherever you are, whatever it is, 50 degrees centigrade is 50 degrees centigrade. Oh, look at that. A piece of a future in physics. Look at you in your cute little glasses there, Natali. I like how they associate color with uh, different things. Blue for care, green for science, purple for food, indigo for services. I think most of you should be able to worry about purple for services, indigo for food. Yellow this time around. We're doing it in reverse rainbow order, if you can't tell. As this is a music one, we need to listen to a piece of music which does not suit me well. Contra Conducting bubbler, okay, are you sure you want to choose the conducting bubbler? Yes. And take the exam. Cool. Oh my goodness sakes, listen to music. I have no idea. Oh, goodness sakes. Fruit piece. That sounds like, that sounds like a piano. I wish the background music was not there. That sounds like a violin or something. I would say B, just because I couldn't hear it. Thank you. Yeah, but this does not bold well. You need to be able to hear. And that was... Yeah, that's piano. Yep. Which we're following is a saxophone piece. That sounds like a piano. Could be B.
Let me see, actually. There's other people here. I just can't hear the notes specifically enough because of the background music. Trombone. I forgot exactly. I forgot it. Well, B is definitely piano. Trombone. I. I have no idea. I've never seen really a trombone before. Trombone is. Oh, it's kind of like a saxophone. I know what you mean now. Could be A. Yeah, I thought it was C. What you're following is a cello piece. Oh, for goodness sakes. This background music is so infuriating in this kind of examination. That sounds like a piano again. That's kind of like a violin sort of thing. So I think that's C. Oh, for goodness sakes, it doesn't matter. We've already got enough questions. Conducting bubbler. Yeah, with a sound related examination Having background music is the worst thing that you can put into it. Literally. Uh, but we passed it nonetheless, which is glorious because I don't like sound-based examinations. Hearing's not my strong suit. Audio mixing, yes please. Uh, as a YouTuber, you would think that I know about audio mixing. Guess what? I do not. I don't know. I know even less. Well, there's a sample rate of common CDs. Uh, CD sample rate. Well, it keeps coming up with 41, 44.1, so I'll go with that. Cool. Following file formats is not lossless. Um, FLAC and WAV are... WAV and... Lo and it, it turns one that is lossless. Oh, it says not lossless, for goodness sakes. That's why I read a question before choosing the answer. I was going for one that is lossless, not unlossless. Right, uncompressed CDs. Uncompressed CD um, bit rate. If I can press, if I can spell uncompressed correctly, that'll be okay. One four one one. Good. Which of the built-in functions can be used to remove low-frequency sounds? Hmm. A low-pass filter? Nah, it's obviously the other end of it. And we've only got two correct. Um. I don't know this one again. Oh my goodness sakes, it doesn't even say. It doesn't even say anything. Audio bitrate and file size calculator. seconds. Well then it's none of those then. <sighs> That's fine. We've got four out of five of them correct. It doesn't matter. Congratulations! Yep, we've done this over and over again. Don't you remember me from all the other times we did exams? Audio mixing. Sound of the ages, it would seem to. Orange art bubble time. Three forms. 
Uh, I forgot to save as well before getting here as... Oh, I forget to say... I'm such an idiot! <laughs> Painting bubbler. Movie bubbler. Comic bubbler. Yes, I do. Famous artworks. Display in the gallery. Okay. What's your following pages of Van Gogh? Well, the... The... Look, this one called um, Starry Night seems to appear in one of his pieces. If the text goes any faster, uh, P. Choose the answer. <laughs> Wish it would be that. Yep. Following pieces created by Da, Vin da Vinci. Da Vinci. Um. No, it's not. It's uh, the, s the third one. Yep. Uh, by Sistine. This one. Excellent. For him, uh, Melanche. Melanche. Lynch painting and the scream would be B. There we go. And which of Fondry paintings is I and the video? Okay, so fine, we don't have to look up a, a name of a person, but just the name of the um, the thing itself, and that is A. Choose the answer. Hey. Okay, so that's all of them. That's a, more of a fax thing, really, rather than the others, which has been silly. Artist in the making. And for work. However you want to pronounce it. And now I have to go through the game again with Orange, because I forgot to save beforehand. Good on me. <laughs> and the background reflects the colour we've just... Three forms. Movie bubbler. Are you sure you want to choose the movie bubbler? Absolutely. We have to go through all of them anyways. Famous movies. Probably have a bit of a better idea of this one. Uh, which was a model of the Terminator which Arnold Schwarzenegger played before? T-800. Yep. I'll be back. Uh, who played Gandalf in the series of Lord of the Rings? Uh, should be another one that you can easily look up. Uh, Lord of Gandalf, how easy. I was thinking of the short dwarf. He was actually the antagonist, and that's Ian McKellen, who I believe is. No, he's still around, I believe. Is he? Well, I'm thinking of somebody else. I was thinking of a guy who uh, played as Count Dooku in Star Wars. It says he's still present. He hasn't. Be he's not deceased yet. Cool. That's excellent to hear, because he's actually a really good antagonist character. He is. Hearing about that now. I knew who Ian McKinnon was. It was just the character that he played as. I was thinking. I was imagining the short dwarf at first. Which of the following movies is not adopted from novels or comics? It's definitely, definitely not the Avengers because you see comics like those all the time. I'm gonna go with Da Vinci Code. Nah, it's probably B. It's A. Okay, Resident Evil then. Which of the following movies is not presented by Studio Ghibli? Undefined. Which one is it? I don't know because oh, that's such a okay. Why is this with this undefined shenanigans? It's not. That was a that was a guess. They were not inputted correctly. So ah, uh, I think that's actually my favourite one so far. Of all the angles, but all the artwork is very cute. That's what is meant to be a cutesy game. 
but it's just the questions that makes me frustrated in the tank speed. But that's it. Very minor things. And it's mainly just um, a personal problem with it, really. That's all. Nothing a natural problem with the game, because some people would probably like to read the text more slowly. So, welcome to the exam, okay? Charge myself! Three forms coming, please! Yes. Done this. Done this! Uh, who is the author of Black Butler? It says Yana Tabusu. Correct. Which of the following comics are self publishing on the internet at the beginning? Do you want, we'll just go with. Uh, okay, so I forgot what D was actually. Who is the author of Yu Gi Oh? My gosh. Takahashi. Uh, in Death Note, which food does, like, for goodness sakes, I just looked up Death Note, Legit the first thing that came up was Apple. Good. Which of the following comics does not match the author? Okay, so this is all good, so let's just, yeah, so it would be yu gi -Oh. we just had a question on yu gi -Oh about the author. Good, we done that, we done that, we are now certified comic book artists anime artists no <laughs> that's the cutest one so far and why has she got a tail last but probably not least literature if i can press it correctly just bond with it it doesn't even affect your overallness bonded with a literature bubble if only life was this simple you know you choose one thing, and it goes to another thing. Time for the red one. Literature. How many this time? You undertake the exam of translation bubbler. Four scrolls appear. Please answer. So there's only one for this one? Okay. How am I meant to know what to do when the text isn't even in English? English. Like I don't know what to do here because I can't read this writing. I don't know! I can't see what's on the bloody thing! It doesn't matter what I select, it just... Well, I don't know! Since it comes with age, I... D I don't know! Like, I feel so hopeless because I don't know what it's trying to say to me. <sighs> DA, DBA. D. Uh, I feel so lost without English. English. Parts of this game aren't even translated. D B A D. Okay, so let's try that again. Okay, 
Okay, got three of them correct. Got the first two gone. Translation bubble here, just to become a great bubble in the future. Thank you very much. Of course, we do. Red for translating text. I'm pretty sure some translators have a very hard time trying to translate text from something that isn't actually text, but just symbol lookalikes. Uh, wonderful times indeed. Uh, click off of that. Thank you for your playing. Thank you for playing. So is there anything different now in the um, in the endings department? I get it. Stop with the slow text. Uh, wait. What? What? Then what other possible endings could there be? Like I've went through all of them. All 14 of them and not all of them have shown up. Oh, I'm really sorry for my frustration, guys. I, I don't want to be frustrated, but... Like... Like, I definitely did this... Did I, did I not do chemistry? I must have not done chemistry. But even then, this game is bugged, unfortunately. There are some things which you do and it doesn't work, and the translation isn't fully translated, and what's translated isn't exactly readable at the most of the time. So, it's a pretty cute game, it's a really nice game as well, but it's just that some things don't add up, and. It's more of a thing that if you kind of, if you have a spare time to dig deep, because I've already spent about two and a half hours repeating things over and over again, just to get to this point, and I'm just very disappointed that um, not everything loads up as it should. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, guys. This has been Yotara at the Bubble Planet. Play this game for yourself if you see if you can make sense out of it yourself, and see you always in the next video. Have a good day and take care of yourselves.